Now, beloved within the uh, Seventh Day Adventist Church, beloved in the Seventh Day Adventist Church, I hesitate to put this sermon out because this is a Seventh Day Adventist sermon. This is a Seventh Day Adventist sermon, and I wanted to put out a sermon trying to bring a non Adventist into the church at this time. But a, a very prominent man just was deceased two Saturday nights ago that was a very prominent Seventh day Adventist yeah, evangelist. He had a present truth ministry. He uh, brought many churches, many churches in his personal ministry called present truth. And also he brought many churches into the regular line work of the corporate structure of Seventh day Adventist church. His name was Bishop Stephen D. Lewis, Bishop Stephen D. Lewis. Um, he was a nice guy. We had a lot of good conversations. He knew my dad and, um, he did a mighty work for God. And this is a tribute to his service. Now, Pastor Lewis, brother, he was funny. Brethren, he was funny. When he would get discouraged, he would uh, sing scripture songs. Even when I would try to, even when I got discouraged and I started to repine, 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 talk to him about the pain in my life, he would sing songs like, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he here it does. First John five fourteen. If we ask anything according to His will, and this is how He hears us. Whatsoever we ask, we know that He has our petition that we desire of Him, and this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He hear it does. First John five fourteen. We ask anything according to his will, and this is how he hears us. Whatsoever we ask, we know that he has our petition that we desire of him, and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. First John five fourteen. If we ask anything according to his will. And um, so I would like that song that he sung when I would talk to him. And um, also, Pastor Lewis, he had a powerful book called The Present Truth Herald. And The Present Truth Herald has information about the health methods, how to cook vegan plant-based meals. Also, it talks about in that book about the law and the gospel, that God's law does not fight the gospel. Just because we are no longer under law, but we're under grace, does not mean we're not obligated to keep God's law. We're so obligated to obey God's Ten Commandment laws, but we're not condemned by the law or condemned by the ceremonial law. But we are still under law, but under grace. So I really appreciate that uh, that that uh, book by Pastor Bishop Stephen D. Lewis. Powerful. Powerful uh, book. Um, it was called the Present Truth Herald, and so that was powerful. And um, I mean, Pastor Stephen D. Lewis, he gave the straight testimony, similar to what Doctor O is doing today, giving the straight testimony. And he he really pointed out sin within God's church and sin within the world. And he really tried to live a righteous life and be kind to others. And what I saw. He tried to live a righteous life and be kind to others. And, um, you know, that's the type of life we need to live today. We need to try to be soul winners and be kind to others and just show the love of God to other people as we go along our way. And um, I hope to see him in the earth made new. I hope to see him in the kingdom one day. That's my true desire. If I'm living right, I'll see him in the kingdom one day. So I hope to live that type of life. So I'm seeing him in the kingdom one day. And um, also, beloved, what I appreciate about, you know, Bishop Lewis was he, um, he, um, I was, he was trying to order a ticket for me to go to GYC one year. And, um, the flight attendant made fun of his name, put a letter next to his name, compared it with beer. And I told him, no, that's, I, I corrected him. I said, this is Evangelist Lewis. Don't, 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 don't jack up his name like that. And Mr. Lewis said, Lucis, don't do that. Don't say that. So he was trying to correct me and tell me not to. 
um, you know, not to disrespect the flight attendant. So Bishop Lewis was very gentle with people, very, very gentle people as far as I'm concerned. But um, so to make a long story short, Bishop Lewis was amiable, fellow, nice, kind fellow, and he showed people love, but he, but he taught the health message. He believed strongly in the health reform, and he believed strongly in um, the law and the gospel. The law of God is still binding upon people. When so many new theologians today teach, oh, it's okay to wear jewelry. It's okay to um, wear the, the pagan gods that we've been brought out from spiritual Egypt from, or the Egypt, Egypt and, and the Catholic Church and evangelicals from. They believe it's okay to get your, get your praise on in church or dance in church on the Sabbath. They are new theologian ministers. They believe it's okay to, to, to get a little tips and drink a little alcohol Saturday night. They believe it's okay to eat meat products, uh, um, unkosher, which is meat with blood and fat and, or uh, uh, un, uh, even, even uh, unclean meat like pig and stuff like that. They believe it's okay to um, he, he, you know, and, and he was very he was uh, toward the end of his life. Pastor Lewis was, was a strict vegan, even healthier than me at this time at times because I eat cheese every now and then. So he he was a strict vegan. A lot of plant, uh, raw vegetables, cooked vegetables, fruits, nuts, grains, vegetables. Um, so he was a strict vegan. So we lived a righteous life, Pastor Lewis, and we need to honor him for his memory. And if we're faithful, beloved. We're gonna see. Bishop Lewis again, but we have to remain faithful. And really, his type of ministry, and this is why the brethren did not like Pastor Lewis, and why they put him out the ministry when he was working in California, they, because he was giving the straight testimony. The brethren don't like leaders who give the straight testimony. Just like Willie Phipps said, one of his newest sermons, he preached in the Southwest region. The brethren like pliant souls. They don't like David's coming into ministry, like Aaron's, but they don't like Samuel's and David's coming into ministry, bringing revival and reformation for the Seventh Day Adventist Church. So, and that's sad, but, and that's why they're treating Pastor Ted Wilson like that, our general conference president. You know, he's not even the pastor in the church, he's a general conference leader, and he's in a lot of persecution. He has his doctorate, you know, but he, did, he didn't even serve him finding out as a pastor. In a, in a local seven in the church, he's a leader, and uh, he uh, is a general, is our general conference president, and uh, he is mistreated that way because he is the type of man we need for these assays, a true David that can finish the work. So, and don't listen to all these offshoots talking stuff about Pastor Ted Wilson stating, oh, he's trying to ecumenicalize the church. To me, he's simply following directives of the voter policies of the general conference president, but he's trying to ask the leaders to bring in revival and reformation. I believe all these leaders, these independents that are talking about Pastor Wilson are just jealous that he's our general conference leader and he's bringing revival reformation on the, on the inside of the church. And we need to pray for Pastor Wilson, pray for our remaining leaders that are trying to do something about the apostasy on the inside, the, uh, as the snipers on the inside and the snipers on the outside. Most congressman, Father, thank you for this day. And go one for mercy and blessing. Please bless Pastor Ted Wilson, our remaining living president on the inside of the church that's trying to bring revival and reformation to church. Please let us not listen to um, independents and officers who speak negatively about Pastor Ted Wilson and say he's a he's a ecumenicalizer trying to bring in, in foolishness into the Adventist church. Please just pray for Pastor Wilson. Hold up his hands like like the people held up, ancient church held, held up Moses' hand. Let us commemorate the life of Bishop Stephen D. Lewis, the work he did to bring the Reformation on the inside of the church, and uh, also um, win many souls. I hear Pastor Bishop D. Lewis won about 5,000 souls into the church and for his ministry. And just cuss my prayer, man. Maranatha, God bless you, family. Maranatha. Mar Mar Mar